Greetings and welcome to another Impressions video here at Words About Games, and today we're going to be looking at Wintermoor Tactics Club. Wintermoor Tactics Club is a tactics game set at a prestigious high school called Wintermoor Academy. You take on the role of Alicia, a member of the titular club, who spend their free time playing curses and catacombs together. One day the principal of the school declares a snowball fight tournament between the various clubs at Wintermoor. Participation is mandatory and the winners will be pronounced the ultimate club. The losers will have their clubs disbanded. Winnemo Tactics Club is an incredibly charming, likeable game, much like its diverse and varied cast of characters. It's pitched as part tactics game, part visual novel, and while the draw for me was the tactics portion of the game, because I love tactics games, as you've probably noticed if you've been around this channel a while, I came to really fall in love with the characters and story. You meet a lot of characters during a time at Wintermoor Academy, and they're all complex and really well drawn. When you're introduced to them, they're mostly archetypes. The dumb bullies, the eccentrics, the rebellious anarchist. These are solid foundations that Wintermoor Tactics Club builds on, slowly unraveling the hidden depths of the cast over the course of the game. Enemies become friends, alliances shift and form, and it's hard not to like almost all of the characters once you really get to know them. Which, I guess, was a lot like high school, now that I think about it. The game does a really solid job of endearing you to its characters by having a lot of heart and wearing it on its sleeve. Most of the characters are struggling with something, whether it's an unrequited crush, confidence issues, or any number of other personal crises that plagued students in high school. The more I interacted with and got to know the club members, whether they were a part of the tactics club or not, the more endeared I was to them. The game genuinely moved me multiple times, particularly when CNC is used to help people deal with a real world problem or issue, or provide an escape from a crappy real life situation, which definitely hit close to home. During these moments you can craft custom adventures for your fellow club members. It's not as in depth or intricate as actually building a D&D adventure, you mostly just choose the flavour of an adventure and how subtle or not you want its message to be, but these moments were legitimately some of my favourites in the game. It also helps that the game is frequently hilarious. As you might have guessed by my mentioning a school-wide mandatory snowball fight tournament, Winnemore Academy is quite an absurd place, which allows the game a very specific sense of humour that regularly had me laughing out loud. Whether I was distracting the equestrian club with a terrible drawing of a horse, or crafting a school spirit essay that turned out to be all about pizza, there are plentiful moments of comedy throughout Winnemore's tactics club. A smile was never far from my face. I do want to give a special shout out to the creatively ridiculous clubs at the heart of the game. There are a ton of really specific and weird clubs at Wintermoor Academy, some of whose very concept had me cackling, though a special mention has to go to the Snowball Warfare Club, who are doing surprisingly well in the Snowball Fight Tournament. Each member of the Tactics Club has a CNC character, based on a CNC class with specific abilities, strengths and weaknesses such as Rogi, a rogue who excels at damage, or Alicia's wizard character, whose chain lightning attack can make her one of the most powerful characters in the game under the right circumstances. The different CNC characters are incredibly distinct from one another, each useful in different situations, and contribute to a well-balanced party. The tactics gameplay itself is fairly straightforward. Each character in your party can move and attack in a round, and has a basic attack and a super attack, the latter of which is powered by a shared pool of tactics points which are generated by basic attacks. Enemies will always telegraph who they're going to attack with their next action. Each battle is a single encounter with a group of enemies which makes them feel like puzzles as opposed to particularly deep tactical encounters, a feeling heightened by the rating you receive at the end of every battle, which is influenced by things like how many turns you used or how much damage you took. My only issue with the tactics side of the game is that the encounters are, for the most part, not all that challenging. Whether you're playing a CNC module or partaking in real world snowball based combat, because the tactics club quickly realises that a snowball fight is just like a CNC fight, I never really had to sweat during most of my encounters. The only time the game pushed me a little was during the character specific challenges, optional fights that reward you with upgrades for your party. You can only equip one upgrade at a time however, at least in the first half of the game, so it's not really necessary to go out of your way to get the upgrades from the challenges. Upgrades affect your playstyle more than necessarily buff your characters, and you can get them from side quests, so I kind of skipped over the challenges once I realised that the upgrades I was acquiring were worse for my playstyle than the ones I had already unlocked. Speaking of quests, they can be a little annoying. Most either direct you to play a CNC module, or simply require you to run back and forth between the different locations on the Wintermoor campus. 
While the character interactions you get from completing them are entirely worthwhile, the actual act of completing the quests that don't revolve around CNC are a little dull. Luckily, the campus locations are small and easy to navigate, the load times between screens are insignificant, and the game does a good job of telling you which characters are where, so this is a very minor problem. Widermoor Tactics Club is a game that won me over with its charm and heart. While the actual tactical engagements are fairly easy, they were never boring, and the game makes up for its lack of challenge by telling an engaging story full of endearing characters. I love getting to know the students of Wintermoor Academy and trying to help them with their problems. Widermoor Tactics Club had me smiling, laughing, and occasionally feeling very moved, and it's a game I urge you to check out. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, consider sticking around here at Words About Games. Our content includes review impressions of games big and small, a weekly podcast dedicated to discussing the happenings in and around the games industry, weekly opinion videos, reactions, debate-driven top 5 and top 10 lists, a regular Hall of Fame series where we discuss our favourite games, and indie game spotlights. We also stream every Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. Most importantly, have a brilliant day.